Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Let's continue taking a look around Sorceria and see if we can find the Eldress around here somewhere. Hey, how's it going? I don't believe you. Well, let's try it out. Yeah, this orb, it just restores your HP, not your MP. Despite saying that it restores, like, mental energy or something. Hmm. Reminds me of uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Except the other way around, I guess. Does it restore all your HP and MP? No. No, that's another game. Well, a few other games, really. But, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this one restores your MP, just like Damsian. But, yeah. Nothing around here. Well, let's try going downstairs. We've still got a little more treasure we can pick up around here. Oh. How long ago was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, the way Magic Burst works is it deals damage equal to double whatever your MP was at the time you cast it. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> There's just not nearly enough, but... Eh, seed of magic for Rex. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. But yeah, I never bother with magic burst. I mean, you're better off with, like, Caprizzle or something. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother with it. There is a job class that can learn it too, but we haven't gotten that yet. So we'll keep an eye on that. But here, we got Mini Metal 74. All right. I heard that in the original Super Famicom version of the game, Magic Burst dealt uh, triple the amount of MP that you spent on it. But even then, mm, that might be worth it. But unfortunately in this game, at least to my knowledge, we don't have Elfin Elixirs to just restore your MP to max. So, well, we got a whip for her, but, well, we got one better than the one they already had here. Pretty hard to get, but we got it. But anyway, okay, there's nothing down there. So let's see what's up top here. Wouldn't an acolyte be like someone who's in training, not someone who's ready to take over the place and all that stuff? <laughs> Erected. Uh, the whole town, I guess. Not that there's that many people left, but... I'd rather be in charge of a real place, not a dream world place, but maybe that's just me. Hey, what's going on? Ah, oh, there she is. Oh. Hmm. That's weird. Well, let's, uh, pay her a visit then. Huh? What happened? Why couldn't we get in there? That's weird. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know how you're supposed to know to do this, but I'll just tell you. You need to use the sand urn. Oh. Okay, uh, well, Carver's too dumb to use it. So, yeah, you have to give it to Ashlyn. Probably the reason why you can't remove Ashlyn from your party ever. Or at least one of the reasons, but yeah, you have to give it to Ashlyn, she uses it, boom, the barrier is gone. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. But, well, we got it. I don't know if you have to do this to progress with the plot, but we're going to anyway. See anything here? No, apparently not. Oh, well. Hey, how's it going? You don't seem to be that old to me. Oh, nuts. Uh, no, not really. We haven't gotten it yet. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a very good idea. I'm not going to be using it. Kind of reminds me of Ultima in Final Fantasy II that was completely pointless. But, oh well. So what's going on? I thought you were kind of dying. So what does that do? 
Hey, hey, all right. But yeah, like I said, not going to use it. I've got better ideas in store. What's going on? Why did it get dark all the Whoa! Nuts. Ha uh ha. -huh. No pressure or anything, Ashlyn. Aw. But we're already in the dream world. Where do you go from here? Inception or something? I don't know. I should probably watch that movie one of these days. Not today, not today. Nuts. Well, we've taken down three of his arch... Er, not arch fiends. Uh, dread fiends. Oh. Okay. I don't know that it would really matter, but... Well, it's there. Nuts. Really? That's the most powerful spell? I don't think so. Well, I guess for one hit, maybe, but... Yeah, we can't restore our MP all that easily in this game. So, oh well. At least I've only seen elfin elixirs in Dragon Quest V, I think. I heard there's, like, something in Dragon Quest IX with them, or... I don't know about seven or eight, but... Eh, whatever. But anyway, okay, we're done. Well, we're not quite done here yet, actually. Uh, we want to get our carpet fixed so let's head on up here then now that we've uh talking to the eldress these two can talk now oh well, at least you're awake now okay well we're working on it i mean she is a sage Oddly enough, though, the Armamentalist job class is the only one that gets Frizzle, not Sage, for some reason. I don't know why. I think Sage gets, what, Kaboom as their ultimate spell? Something like that. I don't really use it that much, but... Anyway. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah, we heard about that. Some other people were talking about it. It doesn't seem to be doing too well these days. Yeah. What are you going to do? Ali Kazam? No. No, uh, that's coming up soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Alright, let's uh, take a look at our inventory then. And uh, probably just give it to Carver or something. Well, we were already able to do that, but anyway. Okay, so let's take a look. There it is, just like the last game. Put it in your inventory, and it's basically the flying bed for the real world, though you can pick it up and drop it off wherever you want. You don't have to, you know, be able to actually go there with using... Well, you'll see in just a moment, but anyway, first things first. Let's see, I want to head to the Slimopolis, and now let's put our new flying carpet to use. There's a couple areas that we couldn't go to before. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take the flying bed there first. Go back to the southwest where Turnscoat would have been in the real world. See that house there? Can't get to that with the magic bed, because you got the forest in the way. So, just drop it off there, come over here, get your flying carpet going, and now we can make it there. Hooray! Well, let's see what they got going on around here. Nothing spectacular, but well, we might as well, as long as we're here. What do you mean? Uh, okay. What's so terrifying? How bad could it possibly be? Oh, yeah, we learned that a couple weeks ago. Oh. Hmm, I thought he ruled the uh, Zenithia or something. Hmm, that's weird. Yeah, I guess it just got a different name for it for some reason. 
But anyway, yeah, we gotta... Well, f f find out about that. But, uh, well, first things first. Well, I'll just tell you. What we gotta do now is we gotta start looking for that legendary equipment in order to progress with the plot. So, let's see. Nothing there. Any jokes in this bookshelf? Hey, hey! All right. How bad could it possibly be? Um, okay. I guess. Eh, whatever. Okay, well anyway, now that we got the flying carpet, we should take it to the real world and put it to use. So, let's switch! So you get to the... Uh, what is it? Uh, I'll trade Dabby around here. And, let's see... I want to go to Falania. There's another house in the area that I want to check out. So let's head over there. Get our flying carpet to you so we don't have to run into enemies around here. I like how it uses the same music as the flying bed. But anyway, let's check out this little shrine. Oh yes, the lady was telling us about that or something. What's going on? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Well, we can't really do much with that until we get the legendary equipment. So, hmm. Well, let's see if there's anything in these uh, bookshelves around here. Anything useful for us. Nope, there isn't. Okay, well, anyway, let's, uh, now I want to go back to talk to Poseidon, because, well, he said he had something useful to tell us once we defeated, uh, what is it? Or once we defeated Gracchus there. So, let's, uh, find our ship somewhere around here. I suppose I could go to Turn's Coat, and that would work, too, but, well, but this works all just the same. And there's still one more enemy in the water that I want to meet up with. So I'm going to go underwater. If I can find it here, great. If not, well, I'll just find it later then, off screen. But anyway, yeah, we're kind of in a different location than before. So, well, in order... Oh yeah, by the way, uh, after that battle, I uh, gained a job level for Rex there and learned Hustle Dance. It heals all party members for zero MP. It's really good. It's a little better than the Sage's Stone, but not quite as good as Multi-Heal, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, it's really nice. Gives uh, Rex some flexibility in what he can do. Not just damage, but he could do some healing. He's got some crowd control now. Wait until we get the Hero Job class unlocked for him. Holy cow! Yeah, what's going on? Okay. Oh, yeah. Some people at Falani were talking about that. Hmm. Three secrets? I only know of two of them. I know there was the one the guy was talking about at Falania, and then there's this one. Was there a second one at Falania, or is there a third one somewhere else? I don't know. Now, anyway, I know how to find the legendary shield. So, we don't have to worry about that. But, yeah. Uh, we're not going to go after the shield first, actually. I want to go after the sword first. So, remember someone was talking about that? Uh, yeah, uh, with Ali Kazam? Well, that's where we got to go eventually. But, first things first, a couple other things I want to show off. Let's go back to Port Haven. And there's a new enemy I want to meet up with. So, couldn't find it naturally. Oh, well. So, anyway... Let's see, I want to go underwater south of Port Haven there. And this one you can meet in the river underwater towards the well by Port Haven there. So I'll try to find it. Okay, found the enemy that I was looking for. Ow. Yeah, this guy, he, well, as you saw, cast Crackle there. He can use Venom Mist to cast Fizzle on your party. So he can be a bit annoying to deal with. He's got quite a bit of HP. So, let's see. You could use 
uh, stun on him, like Sultry Dance or Leg Sweep. That's pretty much all the crab control you can get with him. Now, I could have used Frizzle on him, but he has quite a bit of resistance to that, so I figured Sizzle would be better, even though it's a multi-targeting spell. Still get a bit more damage out of it than you would with Frizzle. So, alright, took him out. Yeah, a little more southeast there, but, uh, well, there we are. Now let's, uh, we want to get back to Port Haven. Remember, uh, Rod and Unda, the mermaid couple? Well, he wasn't a mermaid, but you know what I mean. Well, now that we've defeated, uh, uh was it Gracchus, we can go back there. And, well, something's changed since we last visited Unda. So, let's check it out. Yeah, at least all the mermaids aren't scared of us now. Hey, hey, what's going on? Well, I guess now that we got rid of Gracchus, he can travel safely. Seems like he's recovered nicely. Oh. Well, she's not exactly a fish, but okay. Close enough. At least she's not a murloc! Oh, I hate those guys. Uh, oh, yeah, and Rod is learning how to rhyme his lines. That That's great, Rod. Whatever works for you. But anyway, okay, that's everything here. So, let's see. We... Want to go? Remember, there was that house where they were talking about Ali Kazam, but they were saying we're like a half century too late. Well, that's where we gotta go. So let's see, what would be the closest place? Yeah, I guess we could go to All Trades Abbey, or well, Turnscope might be a little closer, but well, this is close enough. So we gotta find a way to get east. Uh, just like the magic bed flying carpet can't go over the forest or mountains or anything. Though you can carry it over there if you're walking through like hills or the forest or whatever. As long as you have an open area to lay it out. But yeah, I suppose Trenscoat would have been a better place to start with that. But, oh well. But anyway, let's see. That place was right... Where was it? Can I even get there with my carpet? Yes, I can. Okay, good, good. Well, let's, uh... Get up here then. Oh, nice area. Nice. Well, let's take a look around. Well. <laughs> well, evidently, but man, what happened? Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, let's get a little treasure while we're around here. See, I know there's one in here. Oh man, everyone's like this, even indoors. Reminds me of another game. But I already LP'd that one. Great game, too. But anyway, let's see. Well, yeah, let's find some shelter and find a save point if we can. Although, if everyone is frozen like that, I guess it wouldn't really work too well, huh? Hmm. What's going on here? Hmm. Nothing, evidently. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. We might as well. Let's see. Now, oh, we can't even turn it off. Okay, never mind then. But what happened here, anyway? Who's responsible? Can we help out this village? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Six. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!